historical method hello dear students today we are going to discuss about historical method of data collection which is phenomenon to play an important role in research study first meaning and definition of historical method origin of historical method from latin word historicus the word historical is originated from latin word historicus which means of or pertaining to history conveying information from the past historical method means recording past events through experience the study of history is the best strategy of past events there the specific method called historical method is used to record the infinite variety of human experiences evidently and set out for all historical method refers to the process of collecting historical data and presenting synthesized result historical method is a systematic process to aid effectively in gathering the source materials of history appraising these critically and presenting a synthesis of the achieved results historical method involves to study history retaining faith study related to history always creates confusion on time evidences etc and nevertheless faith is retained by collecting appropriate information historical method means examining past events this method is meant as the process of systematically examining past events and to give an account of what had happened in the past historical method consists of techniques and guidelines for the study of historical events historical method comprises of the techniques and guidelines by which historians use primary sources and other evidences to conduct research and then to write histories in the form of accounts of the past for example in the past there was neither a definite classroom nor a specific subject teacher in an open space or in a hall one teacher or guru used to teach a large number of students or disciples blackboard and chalk duster or any other teaching materials were not used to promote teaching learning characteristics of historical method first addressing for collecting past events after deciding a study topic historical method is used to collect events of the past second reviewing all types of data the historical method is very helpful to review primary and secondary data third evaluating and then collecting the past occurrences this method comprises of systematic collection and objective evaluation of data related to the past occurrences fourth synthesizing and explaining the past events with causes effects or trends historical method helps to synthesize and explain the past events in order to test hypotheses concerning causes effects or trends of those events purposes of historical method first to discover the unknown events by using historical method the investigator collects data and seeks to discover the unknown events second to understand the significant events these are responsible for shaping an organization or a movement or a situation or an individual being studied by a historian third to discover the context of an organization or movement or the situation to explore and explain the past the investigator aims to seek the context of an organization or a movement or the situation being studied fourth to find answers to the questions about the past knowing the answers to the questions of the past the investigator 
can enlighten himself and also others to develop an understanding of the past events. Fifth, to study the cause and effect relationship. This method is used to collect varieties of data which help to establish cause and effect relationship between two events. Sixth, to study the relationship between the past and the present. It helps to get a better perspective about current events through a chronological analysis of past. Seventh, to provide understanding of the immediate phenomenon of concerns in the context of past procedures. An investigator may be studying a phenomenon. Historical perspective can enable him to get a good understanding of the immediate phenomenon of concerns. Eighth, to reconstruct the past. The available data collected by using the historical method can reconstruct the past systematically and objectively and can reach at a conclusion which can be defended. Sources of historical data. Historical evidence can take a variety of forms. The most important types of historical evidence are attributed as First, primary sources of historical data. Primary sources consist of original documents, materials or other pieces of information which were created long back. Second, secondary sources of historical data. Secondary sources contain useful information but typically involves an analysis of primary source materials. Books and magazines are common examples of secondary sources. Third, running records of historical data. Running records are collected from the concerned daily newspapers, magazines, gazettes, television or radio news, etc. Fourth, statistical data by government or private organization. Data can be collected from survey reports developed by different government or private organizations, census report, etc. in accordance with the need. Fifth, recollection of historical data. Recollections are denoted as the act of collecting something which were collected once upon a time by someone. Sixth, Oral tradition of historical data. Oral tradition is considered as another important type of historical evidence. Oral tradition consists of stories which are not written down but passed on verbally, usually from an eyewitness to the succeeding generations. Types of historical method. First, method for collecting historical events. Second, method for collecting historical processes. Third, method for collecting deeper oral histories. Fourth, cross-sectional comparative method. Fifth, comparative historical method. First, method for collecting historical events. This type of historical method is used to collect particular data and examine particular events which were occurred over short spans of time. For example, Right to Education Act RTE is an act enacted on 4th August 2009 which describes the modalities of the importance of free and compulsory education for all children between 6 and 14 years of age across the country. Implementation of Right to Education Act, that is RTE, was considered as a historical decision for children of the country and for collecting information for the policy makers. Second, method for collecting historical process. At the time of data collection, historical method is used to focus on how and why a series of event is unfolded over some period of time. For example, 
RTE policy maker is delivering information about different components like free and compulsory education, admission in any school nearby, not much need of age proof for admission, 25% reservation for children belonging to economically disadvantaged communities in admission to class 1, even in all private schools, need of adequate professional degree for teachers, need of school infrastructure facilities, etc. And in the way, these have been implemented within some period of time. Third, method for collecting deeper oral histories. This method involves to collect data related to oral history, interviewing history, culture and folklore. The unwritten information about the past is collected from observers or participants. The gathered information about events, people, decisions and processes is not found available in written records. For example, youth dormitory is considered a socio-cultural institution and it is found available in every tribal group of India. Community people generally assemble every day at evening in their particular youth dormitory and perform their traditional arts, folk dance, skills, myths, etc. There is no written record of these cultural activities. These art forms are traditionally achieved by these people from their elders and they perform and gradually transform these to their young groups. Information regarding unwritten cultural activities are collected from the concerned person by using oral historical method. Fourth, cross-sectional comparative method. This type of method focuses on enabling data that can compare two or more social settings or groups, usually in a broad level at one particular point in time. For example, students in particular class are divided into three different groups on the basis of their parental professions, that of business, service employment and wage earning. By using cross-sectional comparative method, investigator can collect information separately from all three groups to examine the educational performance of all groups in a separate manner. Fifth, comparative historical method. This comparative historical method is used to collect specific data which combines historical process of research and cross-sectional comparative research to understand the causal processes at work within particular groups and to identify general historical patterns across groups. Similar example may be cited here that students in particular class are divided into three different groups on the basis of parental professions like business, employment and wage earning. By using comparative historical method, investigator can collect information separately from all three groups to examine the educational performances of all groups in separate manner. Then, the collected information may be analyzed to show the differences of educational performances with causes of these three groups on the basis of their parental occupation. Advantages of historical method First, recovers present problems and trends of the subject. Historical method ensures benefit of providing evidence of present problems and trends of the subject. Second, controls the situation and external variables. At the time of data collection, this method can control the environment and other external variables. Third, holds internal validity due to the subject selection and equity of groups. There is greater confidence that study has internal validity due to the systematic subject selection and equity of groups being compared. Fourth, 
proposes possibility of replication. This historical method is used to propose that replication is very much possible. Fifth, CLASP's more synthetic approach explores historical record and tests the conclusion of other methods. Historical method is much more synthetic and eclectic in its approach than other research methods, using concepts and conclusion from many other disciplines to explore the historical record and to test the conclusion arrived at by other methodologies. Limitations of historical method First, unavailability of primary sources. It is impossible to localize the source. The document is still hidden. It has not been registered, has been filed into a wrong cardboard and has not been stated in the inventory list. Second, impossibility to put the findings through only historical method. The contemporary witnesses are not alive and there is no other source of information as to the given issue. Third, primary documents not contain the declared contents. It is obviously followed that the content is in divergence form of the document title. Fourth, more difficult identification of primary sources. The title of the collected materials does not correspond with its contents. Fifth, history of placement of conflicting variables. Conflicting variables other than the independent variable are found outside of the subject and the study, but these are within the social environment. Sixth, maturation in growth of the subject. Change occurs in the growth biology or psychology subject due to passage of time during which the study takes place. Seventh, sometimes experimental mortality. Attrition or dropout of subjects sometimes occurs during the course of study. Today, we have discussed about historical method. For further reading, you can consult the mentioned references and visit the following websites. Thank you.